In Monday's press review, we begin in South Africa with Mail and Guardian. COVID corruption putting a mask on it. Another story is Special Investigation Unit probes COVID-19 tenderpreneurs. In the past weeks, the public has been affronted by a slew of allegations of seemingly rampant tender corruption and profiteering by politically connected individuals through COVID-19 emergency procurement. In Zimbabwe, Daily News is a story ED to cooperate with South Africa's envoys after Ramaphosa conferred with him before making appointment. And Zim needs 85 million US dollars to abate health crisis. Ghanaian Times write, Disturbances in, in SHS by final year student allowed 18 rioters students to write exams. President Derek GES. Another story is Easy Ends Mop Up Photo Registration Exercise. In Kenya, Daily Nation is a story. State House Stop Talks on Revenue. Call from above, 40 lawmakers drawn from competing side had agreed to converge at the hotel in Kiambu to resolve the umpires over sharing of county cash. But a powerful government official called Majority Whip Irungu Kaganta and scuttled the meeting, leaving him clutching at straws with lot of gold meal and no eaters. In Botswana, Weekend Post write, Masisi worried engages BDP backbench. BDP anticipated and mass defections worry President Makwezi Masisi. Start meeting with individual backbenchers amid uncertainty. Another story is Masisi rejects Professor Musupele's resignation from COVID-19 task force. This new vision is a story. Legislator discuss bill with President Museveni, clarifies on NSSF 20% payout. An NRA manifesto, President root for science-led economy. In Nigeria, Vanguard is a story. Northern governors beg federal government to equip military. Another story says, without restructuring, 2023 pools will be futile. Onyinola. The Guardian write, Forex demand hit $1.16 billion as Naira slides. Manufacturers lose credit line as costs escalate. Finally, Nigerian Tribune is a story. 2.5 trillion Naira voted for federal roads in 20 years. Document shows federal government awarded contract for dualization of Ibadong Ijebuode, Ibadong Abekuta roads in 2010. 